Hello and welcome back to the stars everybody. Today we are going to be going over the shoddy shotgun in Starfield. For some reason I wanted to say Fallout. It's not Fallout, although this definitely could probably fit in Fallout. It's kind of weird and a little bit derpy looking, although I don't really hate at least the regular shoddy. It is one of the first shotguns that you're probably going to get access to, or at least something that you're going to find throughout the mid-game. These aren't super rare, but they're not super uncommon either. You can find them, and a lot of stores tend to sell them. For the base stats of the shoddy, this one does 50 damage per shot, which is on the lower end for a shotgun, but it's still pretty high in terms of damage overall, so not a big deal. And it definitely makes up for that with its rate of fire and the magazine size, which we'll talk about, well, just in a second. This fires the caseless 12 gauge shotgun shell. This is the same ammo that the double barrel uses, and it's only shared between the shoddy and double barrel. This one holds 12 rounds in it, which is a lot for a little shotgun, and that is unmodified. You can actually get even more shells into this with upgrades. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but having 12 rounds of shotgun shells is a lot, especially with its 60 round rate of fire, so it can shoot these very fast. It doesn't have super long range, it has 20 meters of range, same as the double barrel, however this has a lot wider spread and I believe it has the widest spread out of any of the shotguns, it certainly feels that way whenever I've used it. All the other shotguns seem to be a lot more accurate than the shoddy. That kind of makes sense with the way that this one functions because of its high rate of fire, it's supposed to be used at very close range. This one has very low accuracy, even very low accuracy by shotgun standards. It has a very wide spread and the spread pattern tends to be kind of inconsistent when I've seen it. Sometimes at range you can get pretty decent hits and other times the pellets are just so wide that you're technically getting hit markers but they're not really doing a whole lot. And this one doesn't weigh too much, weighing about 3 weight in total, slightly less than that at 2.95. So it is kind of hefty, which you would kind of expect for a shotgun. Most of the shotguns are kind of hefty. This one can be even more so with different mods on it. For the basic pros of the shoddy shotgun, it does have really high damage per second, which is a huge bonus to it. You can spam fire this thing like crazy at close range and it's very good hip fired. You just have to be within range. Even though it technically has 20 meters of range, I wouldn't really be shooting at high level targets at that range. Unless, of course, you have slugs in this, but we'll talk about that with mods. With the standard buckshot, you want to be up close and personal, like within 7 meters or so. About the same range as, like, the cutter. I, I think that's where it really shines. Another pro is that it has very common ammo. The caseless 12 gauge is probably the most common shotgun shell, or maybe one of the most. It's more common than standard 12 gauge, maybe less common than the 15 by 25 but it's still not super hard to find. Vendors tend to sell a lot of it. It is a little bit on the pricier side because you will be going through it kind of quick with the shoddy. And this does have a huge magazine. Holding 12 rounds is awesome and that can go up even higher if you have certain mods on it. For the cons of this, it does have low accuracy and low range. It's probably the shortest range out of any of the shotguns in the game, or at least shortest effective range. You can outrange this with basically every other shotgun and it also has very wide spread. The spread pattern is just not good, which uh, helps with it having low accuracy. You want to be up close and personal, even if it did have high accuracy, but it still had the wide spread pattern, it still wouldn't be way great. So those are kind of two in the same. It can also be a little bit hard to control this if you're spam firing it really quickly. It's not impossible to control because even though the muzzle climb is up here and when you're firing it, it seems like you're firing above the target. For some reason, you're actually like mostly on target. It's a little bit strange even though it seems like the rate of fire would be actually higher and the muzzle climb would be a whole lot worse, but it, it honestly isn't. I guess the other major con to this would be that it can also run through ammo really fast. Now that's only a problem if you don't have ammo or you don't have access to get more ammo, then it can be kind of rough, but if you do have the ammo, then it's not necessarily a con. Recently in my shotgun tier list, I think I put the shoddy into C tier when I first put it on there, and honestly I don't think it belongs in C tier. It is probably the the worst of the shotguns, at least in my opinion. It's probably the one that I dislike using the most, mostly in part because I just run through ammo with it so fast and I have to be up close with it. That's not to say it's a bad shotgun though, it is super fun to use, and it probably doesn't belong into C tier. I'd probably move it up a tier to B tier. It is a pretty solid weapon, but it does go through ammo really quick. If you had a large portion of ammo, then that wouldn't be such an issue, and it would be an easy B or an A tier because spam firing this thing at close range is super fun and very effective, especially once you have shotguns maxed out. So once you kill something, you can just knock over everything else. Can be really, really strong there. Now let's talk about a modified version and what I would recommend. For the mods, we actually have quite a few. We're gonna start out with the barrel like we always do. So with the barrel, you either have the standard barrel or the long barrel. I would say go with the long barrel, even though it looks kind of derpy on this and I don't really like the look of it. It does give you longer range and it does give you better recoil control. So it's just all around better other than a slower ADS speed, which I rarely ADS with this thing. Most of the time I'm just hit firing this, so that doesn't really affect me that much. 
For a laser, you can go with the regular laser or the recon laser. The recon is the better of the two, but either one is just an increase to the weapon, so you might as well throw one on. Neither one is really necessary though, so if you don't have it, don't worry about it. For an optic, you either have the regular glow sights, which are kind of weird. I don't really like the sights on the shoddy. They're not terrible or anything, they're, they're perfectly functional. It's just seeing that with the bolt coming back is a little bit distracting for me for some odd reason. So I usually go with the reflex sight, even though I don't really care for the reflex sight either. I do like that one a little bit more, but really pick whichever one you'd like. For a muzzle, I put a suppressor on mine. I'd recommend either the suppressor or the choke. Suppressor will get you more damage if you have the sneak perk, and choke will get you longer effective range. Choke is kind of better with this, but I feel like putting a choke on any other shotgun is a better option because I'm not really using this at range. I'm usually using it closer. So if you do want to load this with slugs and you do want to use it at very long range, then put the choke on there. Otherwise, I like the suppressor. And if you don't like either of those or you can't get them, you can always throw the muzzle brake on this too, which also looks really derpy. I don't like the muzzle brake on this one at all, but it does increase range. So that's something, I guess. Then for a stock and a grip, you only have the tactical grip or the standard grip. Go with the tactical grip. This one's just a better overall choice. It makes it so you can ADS faster, reload faster and reduces the overall mass, it's just a straight bonus to the weapon. For a magazine, you actually have a lot of different options for the shoddy, which is pretty cool. I'd recommend one of three of them. I'd recommend slugs if you want to have the highest amount of damage and the longest amount of range, although I would say that this shotgun is one of the worst for slugs, just because you could also take something like the Breach and that would be a much better slug shotgun, or the Old World shotgun, which would be a much better slug shotgun too. You could go with flechettes. Flechettes are really good for bleeding out enemies, especially with how fast this fires. That one I'd recommend over slugs because it does actually rack up the DPS pretty fast on targets. Or the extra large magazine would be the one that I'd also recommend, which doesn't look the best and I honestly don't like the look of this gun when it is fully modded out. But the extra large magazine takes your magazine from 12 rounds, which is already a lot, up to 28 rounds. So you rarely need to actually reload this during combat. If you do, there's going to be plenty of time for you to get to cover, and you can spam fire this a lot at close range, and that's what I went with with mine. The standard buckshot is fine enough for this weapon. It really excels at very close range, and just making it so I can continually fire at close range helps me out a lot, but those other options are pretty good too. Even the large magazine or the extended magazine is pretty decent if you just want to up the overall magazine size too. And then it does have the EM charge shots if you want to make this into a spam fire non-lethal weapon, which I haven't tried, but I imagine is very fun on like a pacifist run. Then for an internal, we have two options, either high velocity or the hair trigger. I went with the hair trigger just so that I could spam this a little bit quicker. Neither of these are super necessary. Both of them are kind of just a bonus. Hair trigger makes it so you have a fast rate of fire, which the shoddy doesn't really need, but it is kind of fun. And then high velocity gives it longer range and better accuracy, which also the shoddy doesn't really excel at. So. Pick whichever one you'd like. They're both technically a bonus, but not that much of a bonus. And if you can't have either of them, you don't really need to worry about it too much. And then this gun is actually pretty interesting with the receiver where you can either have a semi-auto one or a full auto one. The full auto one is kind of just worse than the semi-auto one. You can spam fire the semi-auto one faster than the full auto one. So unless you just have like wrist issues or you don't like clicking on the mouse a whole bunch or whatever the case may be, I would always recommend semi-auto. Semi-auto is generally better in this game anyway because it just gets you more damage. With the shoddy, it doesn't actually change your damage. It just changes the rate of fire to be slower, but you can just hold down the trigger now and just keep firing it. Which again, if that's a nice quality of life mod that you want to put on your weapon, by all means do that. But if not, then I would say that semi-auto is the better option because you can spam fire this thing really, really fast. And with all these mods put on the shotgun, I would move it up a tier. I'd move it up to A tier. I think it's a pretty solid weapon. Again, as so long as you have the ammo. If you're running low on ammo, then this shotgun is not going to be your best option. I still don't think it's the best option for the ammo that it's actually using, though, because the double barrel does get the Hornet rounds, and then it's basically the most cost-efficient grenade launcher in the game, and it's just stupidly strong. So that one easily beats this one out. But if you want a dedicated spam fire shotgun at close range, there's not any other shotgun that's going to be as good as this one or have the same fill as this one. There is also one unique version of the shoddy too, which you can buy. This one you can buy in neon from the gun shop and this one is called Boom Boom. This one does have some mods on it and it also has a unique effect, which I'm sure you can guess just by the name. So for mods, this one has a laser sight. It also has the larger magazine, not the extra large magazine or the extended magazine, but the larger magazine. It's kind of weird that there's so many for this weapon. And it also has high velocity on it already. 
So that's pretty nice. All of those are pretty good to add onto the weapon. They're nothing but bonuses. They're not huge bonuses, but they are bonuses to the weapon. And this also has the explosive effect on it, which is pretty good on shotguns because it can trigger multiple times. You do have to worry about blowing yourself up with explosives, but explosives generally is a good bonus. I don't think it's a great bonus on this particular weapon though. I'd rather have things like lacerating, staggering, armor breaking, things like that on shoddy, or an extended magazine would be really awesome on this just so that I can spam fire this a little bit more because most of the time I'm at very close range I'm usually within like five to seven meters of something just spam firing it to death and if the explosion's going off that means part of it's hitting me or the whole thing's hitting me and with how much damage my character can do I was nearly killing myself it wasn't as bad as like the hornet's nest for the double barrel but where that thing just instantly kills you but this one still managed to do a pretty good amount of damage per second back to me at least at the range I was using it at so I'm not actually a huge fan of boom boom I think a regular shoddy with a different effect would be better even if it's just something simple like hitman or anti-personnel rounds would be much better than like the explosive on this maybe if you're going to be using this a somewhat long range and you have it like full auto and you just keep firing this at something it wouldn't be too bad then but not my favorite special and then let's move to the last section of this which is should you be using the shoddy which, uh, as a lot of people pointed out, I usually recommend most weapons, and I would say so with the shoddy too. And honestly, most of the weapons in Starfield are pretty decent to be using. So yeah, use the shoddy if you have the ammo for it. If you don't, I just recommend going with the double barrel. It's going to be a better use of your ammo. There's nothing that says that you couldn't have both of these two. So if you end up getting an excess of ammo, you can spam fire it out with the shoddy and then switch back to the double barrel once you're running low. And fully modded out, this one is really fun just to spam fire at enemies. It's pretty good at close range. Thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tell me your thoughts on the shoddy down in the comments below. I'm really curious to hear about this weapon in particular. Because I, for me personally, I don't really like the look of it, especially with mods. But the feel of it is pretty good. I actually like the feel of this one quite a bit. You guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye!